Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your radio and graphics card for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 for maximum FPS and performance. So make sure to watch it until the end of this video and do not skip any part for better performance. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the best Windows settings. And for that, you have to open up settings on your PC. And once you are over here, go down to gaming, go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar runs a lot of processing power in the background and it learns a lot of services to record your screen and you do not really need it. So simply turn this thing off. Then go back to gaming, go down to game mode and simply turn this thing on. If you'll optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, also hiding unwanted notifications. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up and in here you have to go to change default graphic settings enable both of these options that is hardware extruded gp scheduling as well as optimization for windowed games both of them will help you a ton after that go back to graphics and right over here you'll find a list of all of the apps and games that uses your graphic card right over here you have to go over to the browse button and add Fortnite in this list. I've already done it. So for that, you have to go over to Fortnite, go over to options and then click on high performance, click on save. Once that is done, go all the way down to Windows updates and make sure that your Windows is always up to date. If there are any updates possible, make sure to do it because Windows keep fixing any bugs that are currently there with all coming updates. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 53.78 but on this sale you can get it for 21.75 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 16.31. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is deanimating your windows and setting up your virtual memory. Both of these steps will help you to improve your performance. So for that, you have to simply search for just the appearance and performance of windows on your PC. Simply open this thing up and in the visual effects, click on adjust for best performance. Then click on show thumbnails instead of icons save taskbar thumbnail previews and smooth edges of screen fonts you need to make sure that three of these options are checked over here then go over to advanced for processor scheduling make sure to set this thing to programs and for virtual memory click on change then unselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives and for c drive you have to click on custom size set your initial to 1361 and for maximum you have to open up your calculator and you have to also open up system information on your pc look for your Install physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Now you have to multiply 32 with 1024 and that will give you your memory in megabytes that is MB. You have to divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to put in the maximum size. Right after that simply click on set, click on ok and then click on ok. Step number 3 is the best AMD Radeon settings and for that you have to open up your AMD Radeon control panel. And then in the home section you have to look up for driver and software and click on check for updates to see if you are updated to the latest version. This is super super important because you always want your graphic card driver to be updated because AMD keeps on bringing fixes for the new games and improves the performance of your graphic card with every new driver update. Once you're done with that you have to go over to the gaming section then go over to the graphics section and right over here you'll find radeon super resolution you have to enable this thing and the sharpen effect should be set to 75 percent right after that you'll find amd fluid motion frames and anti-lag you have to enable both of them and you have to disable the boost chill image sharpening and enhanced v-sync turn all of them off Next is wait for vertical refresh, you have to set this thing to always off, frame rate target control, set this thing to disable, anti-aliasing, use application settings and the method should be set to multi-sampling. Then morphological anti-aliasing should be disabled, 
Anisotropic filtering should be turned on. Anisotropic filtering level should be set to 2x. Texture filtering quality, you have to set this into standard and the surface format optimization should be set to enable. Tessellation mode should be AMD optimized and OpenGL triple buffering and the 10 bit pixel format you have to disable both of them and once you're done with that do not forget to reset your shader cache this is super important because it will clean up the older settings of your graphic card and it will also help you to boost your FPS. Next thing to do is locate your display settings and then over here you have to enable AMD FreeSync Premium if this is available for your monitor and then the GPU scaling should be turned on. Scaling mode should be set to preserve aspect ratio and integer scaling should be turned off. Now the best part comes over here is the color depth. For some monitor it will be only 8 BPC but for some it can go up to 10 so you have to set the highest color depth available for your monitor. Then for the pixel format go with RGB and make sure that this is set to full RGB. Display color enhancement you have to set this thing to disabled and custom color you have to enable this thing and for the saturation set this thing to 150 because this will make your display look a little bit more vibrant and the contrast should be set to 110. Right after that, go over to record and stream and in there go over to the settings part. Then you have to set a record display and show indicator, both of them off. Then you have instant replay, instant GIF and in-game replay. Make sure to turn off all of them. After that, go over to the performance section and then go over to the tuning part. Over here, you have to locate your GPU section and then in tuning control, make sure this is set to default and the AMD smart access memory, make sure to enable that if that is available for your PC. It is not available for me, but this is super beneficial for your gaming. After that, go over to the settings part and make sure that hide metric overlay during logging is turned on. Last in this smart technology, you have to once again find AMD smart access memory and if this is available, simply enable that as well. And once you're done with that, you are good to go. And now let's move to the next step that is fixing all network issues using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of all of your ping issues, packet loss, latency issues and a lot more. You can get exit lag from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, it should look like this. Simply make sure to enable this thing. And on the left hand side, you'll find a list of over 1000 games to choose from. You have to simply search for Fortnite over here, then choose the nearest game region to you. I'll pick Dubai 01 as it will give me an estimated 28 milliseconds of ping. Simply click on apply routes and it will one click option optimize your game so this will help you to tunnel internet straight from your pc to the game servers without any hindrance so this will fix all of your packet loss latency ping issues and a lot more the best part about this application is the tools section right over here in which you'll find fps boost where you can enable the first second third fourth fifth third last and last option and this will also help you to increase your in-game fps as well i personally use exit lag to improve my game performance and you can too simply go down to the link in the description below and choose a subscription plan and with my link you can get up to 33 percent off on quarterly subscription so make sure to go check out exit lag links are in the description below next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc look for a local disk c click on create and name it fortnite and then simply click on create i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every settings back without any data loss give your computer a little bit of time as it will create a restore point in the background once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Now, last and final step is the Fortnite Radeon optimization pack for chapter 5 season 2. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below or you can join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now, once you're over here, you'll find three simple folders. First is the AMD GPU optimization in which I have left these registry files that will really help you to optimize your graphic card. First one is the best GPU settings. Second one will optimize your SFIO priority. Third one will disable GPU energy driver. Fourth one will disable GPU power throttling. And last will prioritize your AMD GPU. You have to simply double click and run all of them. Next is the CMD latency tweaks. And this will help you to increase your FPS as well as reduce your input lag. So the first one is BCD tweaks. And these are some commands that will automatically be performed as soon as you run this thing. So you do not have to individually run it. And to run these commands, you have to right click on it and run this as administrator. Same it will do to your memory compression, disable process mitigation. And last and final is the latency tweaks. This will help you to disable a dynamic take high precision event timer as well as synthetic timers that will help you to reduce your input latency by a ton. Last and foremost is the Fortnite optimization in which I have left a simple 
simple Fortnite priority. This is the same file from the previous Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 pack. So if you have not yet already done it, you can simply double click to run the Fortnite priority as well and it will help you to optimize your game on your PC and this will also help you to increase your FPS. Once the FPS pack is done, you have to close it and simply drop into a game and enjoy your game with the max FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, if you guys are not yet a member of this channel, we have rolled membership out so you can support to the channel by getting the membership. It's really, really appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.